hey guys thank you for coming back to my channel i really appreciate it if you are new here i would love for you to hit the subscribe button so you can become part of my youtube family on this channel i talk a lot about prepping prepping your food and stocking up for long-term storage also i do a lot of unboxings um, online orders showing you what i have gotten also i do a lot of grocery hauls but today I want to come to you guys real quick just to show you guys what I'm doing with my flour. I bought this flour, I want to say about two um, or three months ago, and I forgot to put it in the freezer. These individual bags was all they had at the time when I went to the store. Um, and I thought they was pretty good for my everyday uses when I need flour to just cook, bake, whatever. So I thought they was pretty good just to keep in my regular cabinets. But I forgot to put them in the freezer. And also when I get more mason jars, I'm going to put them in the mason jars. But the reason I put them in the freezer is to keep all, to basically kill weevils, bugs, pests, whatever that could be lurking in your flour. You can do more research about that on your own. But I'm going to put these in the freezer for 48 hours. That's two days. And I'm going to let them stay in there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them in plastic bags. So... They can still stay pretty good, you know, away from, you know, just in case. I don't have any bugs. I don't have any roaches or anything like that. But the bag would keep it safe from that if anything ever was to happen. Also, I'm going to put some bay leaves down at the bottom of my um, just regular freezer bags. And I'm going to put them in there after I take them out the deep freezer. Well, I'm going to put them in my freezer. After I took them out the freezer, I'm going to put them in the bags with the bay leaves until I can get more mason jars to transfer them over to the mason jars. Now, if you have plastic containers, clean those out really good. With a, if you have plastic containers with a good lid, wash that out real good. Let it set overnight and dry. Or you can clean it out real good with a paper towel. If you're using that every day and you constantly find yourself using flour every day, you can transfer it over to a plastic container as well. And that can just be for your um, working pantry. But I want some for my working pantry and I also want some for my long term. So these right here is just going to be for my working pantry, these smaller bags. Because like I said, when I went about two, two and a half months ago, the shelves was cleaned out with all the big bags. So I started collecting some of these. I got them two at a time. And I believe there was like, I want to say there was like $2 and some change at my local grocery store. So I just started getting the smaller bags because this can be good for my everyday use. But the larger bags, I want to keep those for long term. So let me just put these in the freezer. It's nothing fancy, guys. I have space in my freezer right now. It's because if you look at my other video I just did, when the blackout happened right in the middle of me filming, and that was last week, I was cleaning out my freezer, organizing in it, and putting things inside of, um, you know, just organizing the freezer and the deep freezer. So this is the space and room that I have for now until I get to the grocery store. And if you have um, any gaps like this, because this is really the only gaps that I have, and maybe a small gap right here, because this is where I keep a lot of my vegetables well not all of them but a lot of my vegetables are in the deep freezer but this is my everyday use that I a quick way to grab vegetables on a daily use I have a small gap right here in the door and then I have this gap right here these are steaks they will be gone so I'm not gonna worry about it I came home one night and I'm just super tired and then feel like transferring those over to bags but hey they'll be gone this month so I'm not gonna worry about it but usually everything you can see I put them in um freezer bags and usually um, I flatten out these right here this is um, ground beef I flatten out the ground beef and put them in here and all the air will stay out and it's fine so that works perfectly good for that also this right here this is just french fries my son usually eat for lunch or on his break or whatever and then you see some those are chicken patties so I just leave those like that because he's going to utilize those quick. So anyway, I'm just going to finish putting my flour in the um, freezer. But make sure you guys don't have any gaps in your deep freezer or freezer or refrigerator. Try to keep them all stocked up. This is the only gaps that I have. 
and I'm gonna be taking care of that later on this week I'm gonna leave one of these out because I do use this um, you know daily you know probably gonna use it today but I do usually daily that's the one that I already opened I opened this up the, the day before yesterday and these six right here I just put them right here like I said leave them in there for 48 hours two days put them out on the counter spread some paper towels I'll put them on the counter and um, let them unthaw you know to room temperature and then you can start putting them in either your mason jars if you have any seal them up with your vacuum sealer if you have a food saver or you can um, use oxygen absorbers like I do or either if you're gonna use if you have some flour if you want flour for your working pantry in your long term I will put some inside of a plastic container because that's your working pantry and keep them fresh like that and put them in the pantry or your um, cabinets and then the rest like if you have big bags or either small bags you can store those away for long term and put them inside your mason jars so I can okay guys I'm just putting like I said those six packs are gonna stay in there for two days and I'm gonna take them out let them unthaw get to room temperature and I'm gonna put them in plastic bags with um, plastic freezer bags with bay leaves until I get some more um, either plastic containers because this is really gonna be for my working pantry or if I come across some more mason jars because I use the ball mines so okay I hope this video was helpful if it was very helpful to you give me a thumbs up like comment subscribe and I will talk to you guys in the next video okay oh and I forgot to say happy new year because this is my first video that I put up you know in the new year so happy new year I hope you guys are doing great and I hope you loved ones are doing great so I'll talk to you in the next video like comment subscribe also do not forget to hit the notification bell so you can know the next time I upload okay all right take care stay safe bye-bye